just opened. It's uh, it's kind of a confusing day, but not really a confusing day. Got a car coming up the road. Oh man! Oh, we got a car coming the other way. These are super heavy. This stuff will not be here very shortly. Wow. It does feel nice out. I will say that. I'm in a sweatshirt right now, but it is nice. It's uh, 4.45. 4.45 in the afternoon. Got one more car coming. I'll let them go. Anyway, it's 4.45 in the afternoon, and today is actually Easter Sunday. So the first half of this video is Easter Sunday, and we'll combine it with tomorrow morning, and we're going to make it a full day. we got some more stuff over here on the right. Nothing for me. There's more garbage on the left. Uh, but we're going to do some trash picking tonight, see what happens. I know a lot of people are doing things for the holidays, so... That is well respected and I understand a lot of people probably aren't going to be doing their chores until probably tomorrow morning. Uh, so let's find some treasure out here and make it an awesome episode and see what happens. Today, tomorrow, whatever fun stuff we can get into, probably like to move those dog cages around, crates around because they're going to just rattle this whole trip. Let's do it. All right, back for day two. I guess that was just what, one clip we had there? Um, but yes, it's the next morning, it's 6.45. It's a little bit dark. It looks like it's actually going to rain all day today through the next two or three days. So we'll see how well that, that turns out. But uh, back out again for the morning shift. Let's get into it. I think I'll take the other box that's full. And I still have those power tools in there from that storage auction. I thought I moved the uh, those gates in there, those crates, I should say. That was actually an interesting one. That had a little like light on the top, like uh, like a fire truck or a police car, but it's red. So I guess a fire truck, probably. I don't know, but it was interesting because usually they're just the yellow and red ones. I can't remember if these are the aluminum ones or is it the other one that's aluminum. Like this wire looks like it's copper, but if you scratch it down or follow it down, it might actually be aluminum. If that's the case, it's not really worth anything, especially if it doesn't work. But in terms of scrap value, they don't even give you a dirty aluminum price for that. It'd just be steel. 
can't remember what the guy told me, but it makes sense because not all wire out there is copper. Some of it's just copper coated. Okay, so making a pit stop here at the scrap yard. Today's day. Uh, I think I'm going to run over and try to get some bubble wrap now that the market's opening up around here. I, this guy really wants me to go to Leesport and drop off a whole van load. And I'm pretty close to having a full van load, so I should probably get a full van load. Hopefully, they'll have enough. But I need to have an empty van to do that, so. Well, uh, well I guess I'm going right there. That'd be my guess. So once that guy goes, they still have not fixed this over here. I thought they would, but it's been, a, what, two weeks, two and a half weeks? I think they're waiting for better weather. That'd be my guess. Check out those things. Those are the UPS drop-off boxes. Cool things you see at a scrapyard. All right, so just stopped off at Duncan and uh, although the video I don't think is out as of posting this video I did buy another storage unit that video would post on Saturday like I said I don't think that video is out I don't know when this video is coming out but I think it's coming out before Saturday of this week Which theoretically is kind of confusing but not really confusing but anyway in that storage unit I found probably like 15 to 20 gift cards some of it will be on camera some of it's off camera because I know I just didn't record all of it uh, but about 15 to 20 gift cards I went ahead and looked up almost every single one and uh, there was probably about 10 or 12 Dunkin Donuts gift cards with maybe four of them still having money so I just used one one had uh, like a dollar sixty one has like 54 cents uh, I think the most money on a gift card there was one for uh, Giant, which is our local grocery store, for $19.50. Uh, there's also uh, an Applebee's for like $9.60. And I think the last one that kind of was noteworthy, um, aside from a handful of Dunkin' Donuts for like 50 cents or 60 cents, uh, there's a Build-A-Bear workshop for 10 bucks, never used. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, so maybe I'll just give it away or next time I'm buy a Build-A-Bear workshop place. I think they have them in the mall around here. I'll just give it to someone who's shopping. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what uh, what kind of is the recap from those gift cards. Like I said, that video probably is not out yet. You'll probably see it, and then you'll be like, oh, we found gift cards. Well, this is what I'm talking about, those gift cards. All right, enough of me yapping. On to the next place. All right. I think the squirrel's in there. Oh. No squirrel in the trap. All right. Well, I guess we'll add more stuff over here. Why not, right? Uh, more bubble wrap. Um, also, these tables, got them in the trash. I think the last time I kind of did this whole trash picking plus daily video, um, I kept one. So you see there's one and two. I kept one. Um, <laughs> funny thing with these, watch, check this out. Put it right, nice table, right? Oh, let me put something on it. Oh, it fell over. Or it fell over. So, not very smart. You don't see a lot of uh, three leg tables out there for that exact reason. It's sturdy, like here, nothing there. But this, knock it right over. That, fall right over. This, fall right over. And uh, didn't really realize that until I, uh, I tried putting something on it. So, uh, unfortunately, these are going to be sold. But I kept one. It looked great in my uh, my bathroom to put bath towels on. I used to just put it on the, uh, the dry sink. And uh, now I have actually a stand to put my, my towels on. So that was pretty smart. Um, don't know why they would have made three-leg tables like that. Four-leg tables would definitely work better. But I'm not the designer of the crew. I did, however, get more bubble wrap. I hear the garbage truck outside, so I'm way away from to go by. Um, but I got more bubble wrap to add to the pile. All right. So yes, more bubble wrap to add to the pile. It's uh, it's not premium bubble wrap, unfortunately. You can see there's kind of a little bit of imperfection. You have these, this chunk out here, which has been 
lifted and then it kind of sinks in. Um, might even be able to see that. Kind of has an indent on the end. That's why I am able to purchase it um, because they are a defect of rolls. But if you're using bubble wrap, I mean, what the heck does it matter, right? Almost every single roll has that. It has some sort of imperfection on it. Now you can even see how loose that bubble wrap is compared to the bottom roll. Add to the pile. I gotta grab this. I want to just leave this outside. I don't have my hose hooked up yet, so I hope that uh, just the natural rain is going to wash this off. I guess I'll put this on top of my barrel. I guess the barrel is supposed to get wet. I don't. Oh. Should probably just hook up the hose, right? I think it's. They even say it's not going to snow again. It might, but I don't think so just leave that out like this hopefully that'll just naturally wash off all right made down to the house but i want to drag this up get it tested real quickly i don't know what this might just be extra stuff that was on there um but i wanted to test this uh this is from that last storage unit video i did that i found uh all the cleaning supplies this one i want to test because there's been a couple handle looks a little janky been a couple online that have sold and there's a couple right now that are listed for a, a good amount of money so i want to see if it works i don't know if this thing just turns on when you plug it in or what well it plugged into this janky outlet let's see what happens Oh, that does something. Uh, I just seen like smoke come out of that. Now you can see this thing's turning. Uh, uh, this thing has no catch to it. It's almost like it should should click. Huh? You don't need any click. Seems like this does nothing. No idea. Well, that's it. I mean, the thing turns, but I don't know what else it's supposed to do. All right, made it back inside. I got grease all over my hands, so I don't know where that came from, but it came from something on there. And my towel's all dirty, so I'm like to wash that. Here, the garbage truck finally going by. Um, but I didn't want, but I did want to say thank you to Kimberly M. Kimberly M sent me an awesome gift package here uh, to my PO box. Kimberly sent me a lot of really, really cool things in the past. Uh, a great friend from Port Charlotte, Florida. And uh, she sent me another awesome care package. It says, Taco Stacks, thank you for all the awesome videos. I've binge watched them while my wrist is healing. Hope the Subway and Mickey D's keeps you hydrated and fed as you ramp up for the spring. Your friend in Port Charlotte, Kim. So thank you, Kim. Uh, include two gift cards, one to McDonald's and one to Subway. So uh, I actually, <laughs> I, I kind of cheated. I got McDonald's iced coffee this morning and then I went to Dunkin'. Um, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll be back there sooner rather than later. And then I got Subway like three days ago. So I'll be back there sooner rather than later. Uh, but thank you, Kimberly. 
Thank you again for another awesome package and hopefully everything's going well with you in Florida and hopefully your wrist is getting better and you're feeling a lot better. So I greatly appreciate it. Thanks again. Uh, moving on with today, the last thing I kind of have to do right now is I'm working on my taxes. So this is all the very, very fun stuff of being a content creator and being a self-employed full-time reseller. Uh, you just end up with a ton of stuff like these are all auction receipts smashed in there uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start working on that today uh, I did a little bit of sorting but now I have to start adding them up which is kind of the unfortunate part those are all electric bills um, I use TurboTax for my taxes I'm not sponsored I'm not endorsed by TurboTax but that is what I use um, it costs like about a hundred bucks, I think on Amazon. Uh, it's very easy to do once you've done it once or twice. It's actually really easy to do once you've done it once, uh, because it keeps all your information in there. And essentially all I have to do is really just fill in, um, slots on the program from year to year. As long as I don't do anything crazy, like buy a new vehicle, buy another house, um, do anything that needs amortization, even though it kind of does it for you. Um, it's really just refilling in stuff from last year and updating it. It's pretty much the, uh, the whole thing with taxes, but uh, at least for me, the, uh, the only hard part for myself is the amount of time it takes to kind of add up all the auction receipts, all the gas receipts, all the thrift store receipts, everything and everything. So I'm going to sit down and get some of this stuff done, hopefully knock out at least this stuff. So I have the numbers in mind and can move forward with that. But uh, it's been awesome. Stay tuned for the next video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe down below. And of course, I'll catch you guys next time for our next adventure. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.